Hello, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome to 99 Days of Gratitude, a practice for sisters. My name is Gina Petnito, and I am the founding member of the Muslima virtual co-writing community and writing your way. Today is day 18. Why gratitude? I have a hadith today. Abu Huraira radiallahu an narrated that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, if any of you would like to see the great breath blessings of Allah on him, then let him look at those who are less fortunate, not those who appear better off than him. And yes, even though the hadith says him, it does, of course, apply to sisters. Our gratitude practice will follow a modified plan laid out by Kate Hepburn of Finding Sakina. Mention one thing you're grateful for, one thing you can do today to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, call on Allah by one of the beautiful names, and my addition, the daily affirmation. My gratitude item today is inspired from reading Surah Rahman. I am grateful for my ability to learn. And my one thing I can do today to please Allah is to give a small amount in charity, even if it is a dollar. And I remember one Ramadan not too long ago that I signed up for um, a charity where they drew a dollar out of my account every single day. So I had the blessings of every single day in Ramadan that I gave charity. Today, we're going to call on El Fata, and this is often translated as the opener. I'm going to be reading from the most beautiful names of Allah. Allah opens the stores of, of mercy for people. Mercy can come in many different forms, guidance, knowledge, profit, substance, and deliverance from evil and hardship. And Allah opens the gates of forgiveness for all of us who repent. So my du'a for today, Ya al fatah please shower me with your mercy. My daily affirmation is I take precautions and rely on Allah from there. A man said to the prophet, should I tie up the legs of my camel and then rely on God, or should I leave it free and then rely upon God to take care of it? The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, tie up its legs and then rely on God. And this is from Termidi. And this is really very important in many of the discussions that we're having today is we don't just rely on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to take care of us without doing what we need to do that our logic and reason tell us to do. So first we do what we can in order to safeguard ourselves. And then we rely on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep us safe and to keep us uh working on his path. As always, the link to purchase the most beautiful names of Allah is uh, on my website. And also I have it now listed right below this video. A shout out to the wonderful artists and photographers used in this presentation. And an additional shout out to those who inspire our affirmation practice. And our final slide, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. See you in day 19.